Welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. My name is Miss Valerie and I'm so glad you're here with me today. I love to teach and one of the reasons that I love to teach is that I get to learn about taking care of our world with kids like you. Hmm, this week we are talking about insects. Insects, yes. And we're going to spot, talk about a special insect today, an insect that's a helper to people. And I'm going to give you some clues to see if you can figure out which insect it is. This insect flies, and this insect pollinates our flowers, and this insect lives in a hive, and it makes a sticky, sweet substance, mm, a liquid that we like to sometimes eat, and this insect is yellow and black, and it says, do you know what it is? Of course you do. That's right, it's a honeybee. Oh look, here's a honeybee right now. It's a worker bee, and she's pollinating my flowers. Yeah, she's going from one flower to the next flower, and she's spreading pollen from one flower to the next. That's called pollinating. And you know what that does? It helps the flower grow either a fruit or seeds. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, what a helper. Thank you, worker bee. Oh, look at her go. Oh, she is doing a lot of work. Oh, I have a little song about my worker bee. Would you like to hear it? Maybe you can sing along when you get the idea. You ready? Buzz, 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 I hear the sound. Buzz, 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 what could it be? Buzz, 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 it flies around. Buzz, 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 it's a honeybee. Yeah, maybe you could pretend you have a little honeybee and you could sing the song and pretend like your bee is hot pollinating the flowers. Do you think you could do that? Sing along with me. Buzz, 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 I hear the sound. Buzz, 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 who could it be? Buzz, 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 it flies around. Buzz, 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 it's a honeybee. Oh, look, thank you, worker bee, for pollinating my flowers. Zzz. Oh, there she goes. Oh, what do you think of when you think of bees? Oh, yeah, bees do have stingers, don't they? And you might think that bees might sting you. Do you think of that when you think of bees? Have you ever been stung by a bee? Yeah, some people have. But you know what? Honeybees don't usually sting. They're actually pretty friendly bees. And if you've been stung and you thought you were stung by a bee, most likely it was a yellow jacket or a wasp. And take a look at this. This is how you can kind of tell the difference between a honeybee and a yellow jacket or a wasp. Mm. Honeybees are fuzzy. And guess what? Yellow jackets and wasps, they're not fuzzy. They're more, they don't have hardly, they have hardly any hair. They're more smooth. Yeah. And honeybees pollinate our flowers and they make honey. So they help us. And yellow jackets and wasps, they do help by eating other insects. So a little bit but they're also pretty aggressive. They can, they can sting, so you do want to stay away from them. But honeybees are pretty nice, and you can actually observe them on flowers. Yeah, and they're usually pretty gentle. They don't really bother you unless they're trying to protect their hive. So if you just stay away from their hive, they'll generally leave you alone. Wasps and yellow jackets, they're ready to sting anytime. 
And when, the other thing that you can tell a bee from a wasp or a yellow jacket is that bees usually tuck their legs up when they're flying, and yellow jackets and wasps have the, hang their legs down when they're flying. That's another way to tell the difference. Yeah, yellow jackets and wasps are a little bit more pests than helpers, but honeybees are helpers, and we need to take care of them because they're in trouble. They're losing their habitat. That means the place that they live, and sometimes people use pesticides or poisons to kill other bugs, and unfortunately, it kills the honeybees too. So we need to be careful with that. Honeybees are hard at work all day long pollinating our flowers. Do you remember what pollinating means? It means they take pollen from one flower, it sticks to their legs, and to another flower, and the flowers need that in order for them to be able to grow seeds and grow more flowers or to grow fruit. And sadly, if we didn't have bees, we would not have any of these delicious and healthy foods. Uh-oh, some of my favorites are on there. Oh, watermelon and apples and almonds and onions and plums and kiwis. Oh my goodness, so many yummy, yummy fruits and vegetables depend on bees. And this is a picture of a grocery store that has lots of food. You see that grocery store? Lots of food. That's probably what your grocery store looks like, right? If you go shopping, you have lots of choices. Well, if there were no bees, this is what our grocery store would look like. There would not be as many choices. We would lose one third of our food supply without bees and other pollinators. We need them and we need to take care of them. Yeah. So there are some simple things that you can do to help bees. You could plant a bee garden, even if it's just a little window box of flowers, or if you have a bigger space, plant a big garden outside and let the bees have some flowers to land on and pollinate. It gives them food and it helps your flowers and it's beautiful to grow and to look at. And another thing you could do is you can get a platter or a plate and put some stones on it and then put some water in it. And that gives the bees a place to stop and take a drink. Yeah, because did you know that bees need to drink water just like we need to drink water? Yes, they do. Oh, here comes my worker bee. She's busy pollinating the flowers. Are you thirsty, worker bee? Oh, that was so cool. She landed right on my flowers and she took a drink from my watering station. If you have flowers and a watering station, you might be able to observe real bees landing and taking care of your flowers and getting a drink. Isn't that cool? Today, we are going to read a book about honeybees. Yeah, it's an Explore My World book. And it's a non-fiction book. That means it's about real things about honeybees. Hmm, I can't wait to find out facts about honeybees. Oh, look. Look at that cute close-up picture of a honeybee. Look how fuzzy her body is. Yeah. Honeybees by Jill Esbaum. Explore my world. You can see honeybees and they're in their hive. Look, a honeybee. Buzzing through a warm afternoon, a little worker bee dips into colorful flowers again and again 
and again, did you know that a honeybee visits hundreds of flowers each day and she tastes with her feet. Do you taste with your feet? No, I don't either. That's a funny fact, isn't it? From each flower, she collects a sweet liquid called nectar. She sips the runny nectar through her straw-like tongue and stores it in a special just for honey tummy. Hmm, her tongue is like a straw and it's called a proboscis, a proboscis. And she sucks that liquid nectar right up through there into her honey tummy. Flower pollen dusts the bee like fluffy golden snow. Oh, look at all of the pollen all over that bee. Every once in a while she stops, rolls the pollen into balls, and stuffs these into tiny sacks on her back legs. Look at all of that pollen right all over her. Yeah. And when, do you remember what she does when she goes flower to flower? She spreads that pollen from flower to flower and that helps the flowers grow seeds and fruit. Honey, I'm home. When the bee is so heavy with nectar and pollen that she can barely fly, she heads home to the hive. Thousands of other workers are arriving home too. Look at all of those bees. Inside the hive, the air hums with excitement. Bees bustle to and fro. The whole colony works together for its queen. Did you know that bees have a queen? As long as she is safe and healthy, so is the hive. Worker bees bring her food and carry out her waste. They fan their wings to keep the hive cool. They have to take care of their queen. She's important to the hive. Do you know what she does? Hmm. Wonder if it says on the next page. You can see the queen in this picture right here. She, there's a close up of her. See her? She's the biggest one. One of the most important jobs in the hive is caring for the queen's many eggs. Because that's what the queen does. She just lays the eggs for all of the babies to grow. Through the spring and summer, she lays up to 2,000 eggs per day. That's all she does all day long. She wiggles her abdomen down into a honeycomb and drops each egg into its own six-walled cell. Each one of these little cells is shaped like a little hexagon. Oh, an egg's shell melts away and, hello, larva. The chubby baby looks nothing like a bee yet. It's in there, but you can't really see it very well. It's pretty small and it just looks like a little wormy thing. Hmm. For three days, the larva is felt a milky mush called royal jelly. Then it's switched to a honey pollen mixture called bee bread. Each larva weaves a cocoon inside. Its body keeps growing and changing. It's a pupa in there. Hmm. <gasps> Finally, a honeybee chews open its cocoon and climbs out of its cozy shell, or cozy cell. Ta-da! Crow! Look, honeybees keep their hive clean and neat, so the bee's first job is to clean her room. Oh my goodness, so is that what you have to do? Do you have to clean your room? Did you have to clean your room when you were born? Yeah, a honeybee's first job that's what she has to do, she has to clean her room so it's ready to lay another egg. Oh, look at this interesting outfit this guy's got on. Look at that. He's a beekeeper. Hmm. Hives can be found in unusual places. Many honeybees live in human-made hives. A beekeeper opens a hive to remove part of the sticky golden honey. Yum. So he has these sections in the hive and he can pull them out 
and he can check the bees and make sure they're healthy. And then he takes some of the honey, not all of it, because the bees need some of it too. But they're willing to share with us. And if the beekeeper is very nice and gentle with him, with the bees, they won't even try to sting him. But he does have gloves and a special suit and a special net over his face to keep him protected just in case they get upset. Bye bye, Buzzy. Hope you find a lot of honey of lovely flowers. Oh, look at that bee. Off to go find more flowers to pollinate and bring pollen and nectar back to the hive. Did you know that honeybees have a life cycle just like other living things? We talked about it a little bit when we were reading the book. The queen lays an egg, so they start life as an egg, and then a larva, and then the pupa stage, and then an adult honeybee. I have a little song about honeybee life cycle. Are you ready? I have some little props here. I have this one, which shows the egg in a honeycomb. It's kind of a cutaway so you can kind of see. It's a little model of an egg in a honeycomb. And here's a little model of a larva. And a little model of a pupa. And then an adult honeybee. And you can see, look at that. She's got that pollen on her legs like they talked about in the book. Okay, you ready for the little song? A honeybee starts as an egg and hatches into a larva. It changes inside of a pupa and then it becomes an adult. Honeybee life cycle, honeybee life cycle, honeybee life cycle, egg, larva, pupa, adult, honeybee. Honeybees are social insects. Social insects, that means that they live together. They don't live by themselves. So they live in a group and they actually have, all the bees have jobs to do. So um, we talked a little bit about the queen bee. Remember the queen bee? She was the biggest one. She's the biggest one. And do you remember what her job is to do? Her job is to lay all the eggs. That's what she does all day long. All day she lays eggs and the other bees have jobs too. So um, there are other female bees or girl bees, like the queen is a girl and she lays the eggs, but the other girl bees don't lay eggs. They are the worker bees. And the boy bees, the drones, they just help the queen fertilize the eggs. That's all their job is. And they do fan their wings to help keep the hive cool. That's, that's all the boy bees do, the drones. So the girl bees, the other ones besides the queen are called the worker bees and they have special jobs. Some of them are the nurses and their job is to take care of the queen or to take care of the eggs and the larva. Remember that the, the eggs and the larva are in, each of them are in a cell in the hive, in the honeycomb and the cells are all shaped like a hexagon with six sides. And so they take care of the queen or they take care of the babies. And then the other job of worker bees is they have to go out and they're the ones that we see outside meeting up with all, uh, going around and pollinating all of the flowers and taking care of collecting all of the nectar and the pollen. So that's their job to do. And then they have to come back to the hive and they have to make the honey. And they actually spit the nectar back out. Yeah, it's kind of, they regurgitate it back out of their honey stomach. It's a special honey stomach. And then they fan it with their wings and that's how they make the honey. I don't think we could do that. 
I don't think it would taste very good coming out of our mouths. Do you think so? I don't think so either. <laughs> it's kind of weird, isn't it? It's a little bit gross, but it is delicious. Honey is wonderful. And there are different kinds of honey based on what kind of flowers the bees are pollinating and collecting nectar from. Like this one's from lamb's ear. This one is from wild bergamot. This one is from orange blossom. This one's from apple blossom. There's all different kinds of honey based on what kind of flowers the bees were visiting. And the worker bees, when they find a good feel of flowers, they do a special dance. So they go around and then they do a little waggle and then they go around the other way and the amount of times that they go around tells the other bees how far away the flowers are and the little waggle tells them which direction. And so all of the workers go, oh, there are some good flowers over there. And then they, they follow and go right over and get more nectar and pollen from those really good flowers. So that's their job. There are, is one other job that the bees have and that is to be the guard bees. And the guard bees have to make sure that nothing dangerous happens to the hive. So they just guard the hive. That's the other job of worker bees. And the worker bees are all girls. They're all the females. So if you see honeybees out visiting your flowers, it's a worker bee. We're going to sing a little song called, Here is the Beehive. We're gonna use our hands to be the beehive and the bees. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding inside where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do it again. Are you ready? You can join me. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding inside where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Buzz up high, buzz down low. Buzzing fast, buzzing slow. Buzz to the left, buzz to the right. Buzz all day, but sleep at night. Shh. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding inside where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Bzzz. For our at-home activity today, we're going to make a little bee puppet. Just like this. Bzzz. Remember that little song? Buzz, 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 I hear the sound. Buzz, 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 who could it be? Buzz, 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 it flies around. Buzz, 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 it's a honey bee. You can make your own little puppet so you can do the song or you can pretend to pollinate flowers or pretend to drink water or pretend to go to your hive. So we, all you're going to need to make this, it's pretty easy, you're going to make, a, use a little paper tube and if it's a longer one, you can just cut it shorter. And then you're going to get some paper, yellow, for the bee's body. And you can use whatever kind of glue you have. You could use a glue stick. It'll be a little trickier. Um, you can use liquid glue. Or I'm using glue dots. And these are really quick and easy. So, and I've already put some on here. So you're just going to take your paper and wrap it around your tube. Nice and tight and then cut some strips of black paper for the stripes. Oops, I forgot to stick glue on there. So I'll stick some more glue on, make it stay. Okay. And then you'll take your stripes and just wrap those around too. Wrap them right around the middle. And 
glue those right around the middle. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to, to make the honeybee's face kind of flat, you're gonna squish this part. So you're gonna kind of fold it and squish it and you'll stick some glue right in the inside to make it stay shut. So you just squish it down like that, like that. And then to make it look more like a head, you're going to make it round. So you just trim off the edges to make it kind of round. Like so. Yep, and then you can stick on a couple of wiggly eyes or you could draw the eyes. We'll stick on a couple of little wiggly eyes. Like that, and then you can draw a cute little mouth. like that and then you can stick some you can cut some tinier strips of paper and stick some little antennas on your little bee like so which I think I forgot to stick on my bee puppet so let's stick some on this one so he can be finished some little antenna pieces on there look at how cute little bee. So use these little, you, these little glues make it kind of quick and easy. You can just kind of bend them so they stick up and then cut out some legs and stick those on. And then to make the wings, I just used a piece of white paper and if you fold it in half and cut it that way, and you can get your grown up to help you, just kind of trim out, cut out some wings. Like that and then look if you cut it together ta-da makes the wings and then you can just stick those right on your bee right on the top and bend them up just like that so there you have a cute little bee puppet Bzzz. and grown-ups you can find details about this activity at our learning at home page on wqln.org and remember Keep reading, keep learning, and keep watching WQLN PBS, where learning is brought to life. See you next time. Bzzz.